got me no water in it. Well, don't look at me. Aaron? What? You're gonna have to go and buy a new one. Why me? Because you blew it up. Oh, and you can prove that, can you? I should be making you pay for it here. I didn't do it. What is wrong with you today? Go! What are you doing here? I'm learning how to use the till. I'm going to be covering for Doug for a few days. Right, where's Adam? At home. Why? No reason. Oh, he's in a right mood this morning. Was he what about? No idea. We've got to go anyway. Nice. Oh, thank you. I thought I might uh, fit in and run a golf this morning. Is that your code for seeing Faye, is it? Natasha, I bumped into her yesterday. It, look, it, it, it wasn't planned. You just got back. I hadn't even seen you, and there you were with her. I know. I'm sorry. I missed you. Yeah, well, I missed you too. Look, why don't I forget work today? Let's spend some time together. I'd love to. Good. Unpaid invoices there are here. Well, I don't have time to chase them up. <laughs> well, he doesn't look like he does much. Do you think I'd let him speak to any of my customers? He'd scare them off. He might scare them into paying a bit quicker. They get there in the end. I had a word with a couple of them that owe you money. What kind of word? The persuasive kind. Huh. You can thank me when the checks start arriving. Now, what else can I do? Why don't we go and get something to eat? I was hoping you'd say that. You are in shoes, please. Hello. Hi. You're right. <laughs> that's me thinking we're going to do something exciting. Uh, excuse me. When did I say you could wear that necklace? Um, about the same time I said you could wear that top. Uh, you have any idea how much that is worth? I hadn't really thought about it. We'll get these. This will be yours one day anyway. Oh, or is this one of those when I'm dead conversations? No, this is one of those when you put me in a nursing home conversations because I intend to live to be a very old lady. I wish someone would buy me something like this. What are you leaving me in your will? Are you trying to be funny? There's no family legacy then. Well, there's laziness and there's bad posture. <laughs> oh, I wonder what's in store for Sarah. Me and Andy didn't exactly give her the best start in life. She's been luckier than you were. At least her parents wanted her. Didn't at first, actually. Hardly surprising with me as a role model. Still, you got it right in the end. Yeah, so did you. I understand now how it must have felt when I chose Dad over you. If Sarah ever did that to me. Well, she will. And if she does, she'll have a granite to deal with, won't she? Mm -hmm. She thinks they're real diamonds. And you're naughty. <laughs> I'm so broke when I brought you there. Yeah, isn't the first wedding anniversary supposed to be paper, anyway? Well, didn't it come wrapped in paper? Yeah. And you didn't complain at the time? <laughs> I didn't want to upset you. Anyway, I like it. Good. It was either that or a cookery book, and uh, I didn't think we'd make it to our second anniversary if I plumped for that. Hmm. Well, we've made it a lot further than that. Which is a miracle, considering. I know. Do you want to go? No. I can pretend she doesn't exist, if you can. Uh, have you left Aaron on his own? Uh, he's just gone to see Paddy. So you just walked out? <laughs> no, I locked up first. I was hungry. I said I wasn't going to be long. Well, I didn't know that, did I? Uh, some guy came in earlier to pay his bill. He was asking questions about you. I told him that you looked like Jeremy Clarkson in a dress. Uh. Right, I'm going to have to go. Oh, Debs, come on. Ten more minutes won't hurt. Sorry. <sighs> Mum, can you buy me lunch? I've left my wallet at work. Mm. OK. I thought you might be dining with the candy man. Well, not today. So I'm not going to have to start practising calling him Dad, then. Oh, stop it. <laughs> now, he seems all right, though. Better than some I could mention. 